I tell you what I don't want to do again is take off that freaking lettering on the side of the truck to take all my prime stuff off. Because good lord, that took two hours of unnecessary time. But that's not what this video is about. We're going to talk about why warranties and the protection of prime shop plan is so important now. Or not so important, but is important to lease operators. Or why you need to be prepared to have this stuff as an owner op. So you never truly appreciate, appreciate anything until you don't have it. Or the convenience is changed. But man, am I glad that I have a warranty still on this truck. So I took my truck in for uh, new brakes and new, uh, new brake pads, new brake drums. I got my inspection done for my new company and on the inspection report, I passed the inspection, but you know, they were, they were worn, they were worn. And so I was like, okay, well, you know, can you do it here? They're like, no, we don't have no time. So it's fine. This was back in Savannah. So, you know, fast forward to last Thursday or last Wednesday, cause I actually dropped it off that same day. So finished that drive from Savannah to Atlanta. And once I got here, I dropped the truck off at the dealership. You know, I was like, hey, here's the truck. I'm gonna drop it off. I know you guys are a couple of days behind, but uh, you know, here's what I need. I have, uh, I believe I have an airbag that's leaking. It's a slow leak, but just every 10 hour break, I don't have any air. Um, which Brian, if you're watching this, I figured out the reason for that, but that, that's coming up. But I was like, hey, I have an airbag. I think it has a slow leak in it. And uh, I need new brake pads and brake shoes. And they were like, okay. So, and also for those of y'all that remember, I bought a driver's seat, a new driver's seat for the truck. So I went to go get that installed. You know, dropped it off last Wednesday. I just got the truck back today. Today's Tuesday. I just got it back Tuesday afternoon. Um, we had a couple of hiccups. Um, one, had to get a refund on the seat. It was an adapter that I needed to have for it. And they were th three weeks out on back orders. And I'm like, no, not a chance. Got my money back for that. Brake pads and shoes, no problem, but good Lord, the price on that. Um, so I actually had an air leak on the truck and it was a, it's called the level. Of course I didn't bring any paperwork in here with me, but I think it's, it's a leveling valve. It's a, a cab, it's a cab air leveling valve. That was bad. And apparently it's been bad for a while. So usually, and the, the, the tech kind of, explain it to me as in as usually it's a piece on the outside you know you just go in place that piece come out done like you know 50 60 bucks but the part that went bad on my truck was the inside part which means they had to replace the entire leveling system which i say entire but it's you know it's like three pieces but it's just you know throughout the cab so they had to replace that whole system no, that is not under warranty. So I had to pay for that. I had to pay for the brake pads and brake shoes. So I already knew I was looking at a couple grand, but then the price got higher. So uh, for whatever reason, they, I guess, tried to pull my truck into the bay. And my truck wouldn't start. Went off, jumped it off, got into the bay, turned the truck off. Try to start again for something else. Wouldn't start. Check my batteries. All of my batteries are bad. Now, if y'all remember a couple, or it was a while ago now. If y'all remember six months ago, I just bought brand new batteries, which were under warranty as well. But uh, I had to get brand new batteries again. And at first they were trying to fight me on the warranty. I'm like, no, no. I know for a fact I have a battery warranty for one year and I just got them six months ago. So if you take anything away from this video, please keep 
all of your records. If I did not have my records with me, I would have been paying for those batteries. But I had all of my stuff from when I got batteries replaced and the truck worked on at Tri-State Volvo uh, in Springfield, gave it to him like here. Right here is where I just replaced these batteries and it had the date right there on the, on the line item. They called Tri-State, worked it out, boom, warranty. No parts, no labor, and you know, and they covered the core charge. Everything was warranty. So if you have a warranty, make sure you know what's covered on that warranty. If you don't have a warranty, get an extended warranty if you're an owner operator. But uh, so the reason why I'm like, you know, we had it, we had it easy, or I had it easy as a lease, a lease operator at Prime. You know, if you get a, a major repair bill, you know, anything past a certain amount, Prime will make sure you revenue if you know you revenue that amount, and if not, they'll take it out in payments. My initial quote back for the my repair bill was five thousand two hundred dollars, and you know, in my mind, because I'm used to Prime System, I'm like, oh, you know, they'll take it out or I'll make up the revenue. Then I remembered, oh right, I don't work for Prime anymore. So I had to pay, I was gonna have to pay $5,200, but because I had my warranty information in order, I got a refund back on the seat, um, what else? Something else I, I had to do on there. It was something else, but basically I had to pay $3,100 for, for all of that. So, I mean, $3,100 is, you know, obviously nothing to, I'm not going to say it's not that, you know, large amount of money, but I'd much rather pay $3,100 than $5,200, <laughs> especially at that time or still that I didn't, I was not contracted with anyone. Well, I'm contracted with them. I'm just not started working yet. Obviously, I'm in a hotel, so, I, you know, I'm going to orientation. That's about as much information as I'm going to give you until I'm finished with orientation. But... I had to get my truck back. So I got the truck back today. I was supposed to be in orientation on Monday, but they had a situation, uh, I guess, with the home office, and they didn't finish my file on time for Friday when I initially submitted it. But, uh, you know, got that resolved Monday morning or Monday afternoon. And then, boom, scheduled for orientation this Wednesday. So today's Tuesday. I'm here in the area to go get it done but like you know like i said i had to have the truck so i had to get the truck from the repair shop pay for the repairs get all the authority numbers and stuff off of prime you know all the prime authority numbers off and come up to where i am now which was it's not it's i'm gonna give too much away it, it was it was a drive i had to drive to get here so Go with that as you will. Why am I being so secretive? Because it's not fully set in stone. It kind of is, but I'm just not releasing that information out. I want to dedicate a whole video to it. So just bear with me. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, my mind works like that. But my, yeah, my first repair bill that I did not have the prime cushion, you know, before I even started working on my new job, I went ahead, you know, had to get that taken care of. You know, luckily, I, the way I am with money, it didn't really, you know, it doesn't really affect me as I know it would affect a lot of other people. But because I run my business the way I do and I have stuff set up, you know, for repairs and maintenance and stuff and I stay on top of my PMs, you know, it, all I'm saying is the bill could have been way worse if I ran my business completely different than anybody else. But that being said, I got the truck. Um here getting ready for orientation by the time this video comes out i will actually be in orientation so i'm gonna put this video out like tomorrow midday maybe tomorrow afternoon um in which i may i'm not even gonna say that because I, I i'm not for sure I, I may i may tell y'all who i'm working with after first day of orientation or i may not i don't know yet but it will be soon so moral of the story i don't have a moral of the story i really just want to put out a video today because i'm trying to get back on my content game but i needed 
a topic to talk about that was not what I really want to talk about. Um, and then, yeah, I'll talk about the other situation with Prime on another video because the resolution was very lackluster, but hey, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get this video out and I'm going to order me some pizza because I'm starving. I should be finishing up, you know, cause staying consistent with my diet, but I'm not on the truck fully quite yet. So it's a pizza kind of night. But like I always say, if you're thinking you guys might as well do it logically, I'll catch you guys on the next one.